In this video, let us talk about the basic string operations in Python, string concatenation and string replication. Let us learn to define variables by following the naming rules and also let us learn to write Python comments in programs to document the program and function details. String concatenation. The meaning of an operator may change based on the data types of operands that are present in an expression containing arithmetic operators. For example, the plus is the addition operator which operates on two, op two integers or two floating point operands or values. When plus is used with string values, it joins the strings as a string concatenation operator. Let's take up one example. In this example, we have a string Alice and second operand of this expression is Bob and we have used the operator plus. Here the operator plus acts as concatenation operator not as addition operator because the opera oper operands are of type strings. This results in a concatenation of two strings. And remember this expression containing plus and the operands of type string evaluates down to a single value where the value is a new string which is a combination of two strings found in the expression. If you try to use plus operator on a string and an integer value, in that case Python will not recognize this expression as a valid one and it displays an error message. However, if you use plus operator on a string and the string representing the integer value or floating point value, in that case the Python concatenates the string of characters of first operand as well as string representation of numbers. Let's take up the example. In this first example, we have first operand as Alice which is a string. Second operand is a whole number which is integer. This is invalid. We cannot concatenate string with the integer or floating point value. But this is a valid statement. If we enclose this in whole number 42 with the single quote or double quote. Take up this second example where I have represented the second operand as a string representing the number or integer. And this is a valid expression which evaluates down to a new string called Alice 42. String replication. The star operator used for multiplication when it operates on two integer values or two floating point values. But when the star operator is used with one string value and one integer value, then it becomes a string replication 
operator. Let's take up one example. In this example, we have one string, first operand is a string, Alice. Then we have an operator star, and second operand is a value which is of type integer. What this operator does, the string replication operator repeats the first operand five times. That means Alice is repeated five times. So the expression evaluates down to a string value which is a new string that repeats the original string a number of times equal to the integer value that is found in the second operand. The star operator can be used with only numeric values for multiplication or for one string value and one integer value for replication. Otherwise, Python will just display an error message. Variables. A variable is a logical name of memory space in the computer to store a value. In order to use the result of an evaluated expression later in the program, we need to save the evaluated value inside a variable. Name of a variable can be anything as long as it obeys the following three rules. First is, it can be only one word. Second, it can use only letters, numbers and the underscore character. And third is, it cannot begin with the number. The variable names are case sensitive and it is a Python convention to start the variable names with lower case letter. Here we have a table which lists the valid variable names as well as invalid variable names. Balance is a valid one. Current balance is again a valid variable name. Current underscore balance is a valid one because underscore is allowed in the variable name. Underscore spam is a valid variable name where underscore is treated as a letter when it is used with the variable name. You can use uppercase letters and also you can use the letters as well as digits in any order except the digit should not appear as the first character of the variable name. Thus account for is also a valid one. This column we have an invalid variable names. Here we have a hyphen which is not allowed. Here we have a space which is not allowed. Digit e appears as the first character not allowed. Only digits in a variable name not allowed. And we have a special character dollar not allowed. And we have a special characters quotes in the variable name which are not allowed. A good variable name normally describes the type and the structure of data or we can say the context of a data it contains. In programs, a descriptive variable name will help the other programmers as well as the readers of a code to understand the flow as well as the logic of the program. Always practice to use uh, relevant names based on the context of the programming or even computational or real world problems. Program comments. The following line is called a comment. 
in python comment starts with the special character hash mark and python ignores these comments thus the programmer can use these comments to write notes about the code and any text for the rest of the line following a hash mark is a part of a comment sometimes the programmers will put the hash mark in front of a line of code to temporarily remove that line while testing a program and this is called commenting out code and this is very useful to debug the program or to figure out the logical errors or to figure out why a program doesn't work python also ignores the blank lines thus the programmer can add as many blank lines to the program to summarize we created larger strings with the help of string concatenation operator plus we created the string replica using replication operator star we also defined different types of variable by referring the naming rules finally we learned to write comments which help the programmer to document the details of the program the variables and the function for better readability